Hey everyone, how are you? On today's video, we are going to talk about keyword lists in Elixir. And this data type is very specific. And I had a very hard time in the beginning trying to understand it, especially because we don't have anything like this on JavaScript. So a keyword list is a way of passing optional parameters to a function. And I think this was hard for me to understand because usually on JavaScript, if we want to add optional parameters to a function, our function usually, uh, usually accepts like an argument and then an object as the second parameter. And then on this object, you would specify some optional things about it. Like, I don't know, if this is a database call, you're gonna add a select here with something and then another field for config. And this is how you pass optional parameters in JavaScript. Uh, we usually use an object with a bunch of fields specifying the optional uh, parameters. But on Elixir, this is how it works. So I'm going to borrow an example from the documentation of Elixir. Imagine that we have, whoops, let me call this split. Okay. Imagine that we have the following string. We have the string one, two, three, right? And I want to split this string by the space in the middle. Perfect. I have a list back. All right. Okay. But what if I have lots of spaces in the middle? Is there a way to trim the extra unnecessary spaces here so my string dot split function works properly? Yes, there is a way. We can pass to this function an optional parameter called trim and you call the option parameter like this trim colon true and there you go the trim here is an optional parameter and the trim here is a keyword list and okay but under the hood what exactly is a keyword list a keyword list is first of all a list it's made of tuples, the tuples must have two elements and the first element of this tuple must be an atom. So for example, if I want to convert this stream uh, true as a native keyword list, uh, let's call it this way, you can do it like this, stream and then true. This is a keyword list. And you can see that Elixir printed on the screen something different. It printed a simpler version of what I did here. And this is a synthetic sugar to make the tuple look better. So let's say that we have other, uh, other optional parameters on the split function. Every single optional parameter we would pass as another tuple inside this list. So here me might, me might have like uh, optional param two, the value is, I don't know, true as well. And here adding the synthetic sugar on top, we can also write it like this, trim equals true, and then optional parameter colon and then true as well. So let's refactor our string dot split using the, the more verbose way of a keyword list. A keyword list is first of all a list of tuples where the first element is an atom. So we can write it like this. And then the second element of the tuple is the value of that optional parameter. On this case, it's true. And this works. We can also use the less verbose way of defining a keyword lists, which is like this, 
we remove the tuple and then we write trim colon true this also works and now one final step of synthetic sugar that you can add on top of this is if your last argument of the function is uh, a keyword list you can also remove the list so if we remove all of this we end up with the same result so it's a very hard data type to explain because there are like three ways of defining it you can define it in the hardest way possible which is a list of tuples a two item tuples where the first item is an atom you can also define it like this like a list with uh, the optional parameter colon and then the value of the optional parameter and if this is the last argument of your function you can also pass it like this now where is this useful let me give another example if you were working with the database and on elixir we use a sort of an ORM called Ecto which is not really an ORM but we can talk more about this in the future you're gonna write a query like this query equals from user in user and like this is enough to query the users database for example but what if I want to pass a where clause to this like I want to select the users that are uh, older than 18 years old you could pass uh, an optional parameter to this from function from ecto like this where colon and then user dot age bigger than 18 you can do it like this and I'll of course I'm gonna get an error because I don't have ecto here or anything and this is the most the simplest and the most beautiful way of passing a keyword list now we can try to make this uglier and use uh, a keyword list like this this also would work and then we can use the most ugly way possible which is like this this is actually a tuple the where is an atom and then this condition here is the second element of the tuple all of these three ways of calling the where in a keyword list are valid this is the most verbose way possible this is the second most verbose way and this is the easiest way and the way I recommend now let me try to give another example where this is useful I'm gonna use my tech school uh, code base as an example again so I have uh, a bunch of courses on tech school right sometime I need to create the courses so I have a function to create the courses the create course function is expecting an ID of the YouTube channel some a couple of attributes and this weird uh, inverted slash here is used to assign a default value so attrs is a map as you can see here and if i don't pass anything here the default value is an empty map and opts it, it's usually how we name the last uh, argument of the function as a keyword list so here here is where i'm passing uh, other attributes to my create course function for example I can pass what programming languages are covered by the course what frameworks are covered by the course what tools and what fundamentals are covered by the course and here I'm also using another uh, function to check uh, to get the keyword from the OPTS variable and here I am validating it to check like if there is a language names a framework names and if there isn't I am assigning the default value of an empty array and then the result of this keyword dot validate function is a tuple 
that we learned on the last video. So let me try to give another example here because it is still a bit tough to explain. So to deal with keyword uh, lists in Elixir, we have the keyword module. And then of course, inside the keyword module, we have a bunch of uh, functions that we can call. What about the function get? I mean, by the name, you can sort of guess what it does, but let's call the documentation. So h keyword dot get, and I want the get uh, rt2. So let me call it like this. Okay. Let me see. The documentation is big. Gets the value under the given key. Okay. Returns the default value if key does not exist. No uh, new if no default value is provided. Okay. So let's see a couple of examples here. If we call keyword get, trying to get the A uh, keyword inside this list, there's nothing. So we get a new back. If we have the field that we are trying to access, we get the value of it. Okay, makes sense to me. So let's try to call it. Let's create actually a new a variable called keyword, keyword equals, and I'm gonna define it in the most horrible way possible first. So it's a tuple with, uh, let me say trim, it's true, okay? Now, let me use the keyword module dot get. I'm gonna try to get the keyword from the keyword variable, and I'm gonna try to access the trim value of the keyword, and we get a true back. If I try to access an invalid field from the keyword, we get new. And there's also a way of passing a default value for your uh, for the keyword list, if you cannot find anything, but for passing a default value, we need to call the keyword dot get arity three. So check this out. This function gets the value under the given key. Okay, uh, and you can see like from the definition here, the first function parameter is the keyword. The second one is the key that you're trying to access. And then the third argument is the default value for it. So let's try to create a new keyword. Actually, let me go from the history. This time I'm gonna create an empty keyword. So it's just like this. Actually, now it's just a list, okay? So if I try to call keyword.get again, on the keyword variable, and I try to access the trim E, it doesn't exist. But if I call the keyword get now with rt3, with three parameters, I can specify a default value for it. So here I can say true. If there is no trim on this keyword, I'm going to default it to true, but sure, I can also default it to false. And there you go. And if, let me give you another example, uh, using the database call, we might get like OPTS equals, and now I'm gonna use the less ugly way of defining a keyword list. This one is gonna be where, where, uh, I don't know, for now I'm gonna pass a string, like this is invalid syntax, but I'm gonna use it as an example, age bigger than, 18 and then I want to select name okay this is a keyword list now let me call the keyword module dot get I want to call my OPTS uh, let me try to get the where oops where now we have an optional parameter of age must be bigger than 18 and if, if I try to get the select key, I'm gonna get a name. And if there wasn't anything, I could assign a default here, like selecting a user. And this is not gonna work because we have a value for select. 
So the default value that we're passing here is not going to work. And on TextCo, instead of doing keyword.get to get the keyword from the OPTS function parameter, I'm actually calling the keyword.validate, which is almost the same, but here I have like a bunch of optional parameters. I have language names, framework names, two names, fundamentals names. And instead of calling keyword get, keyword get, keyword get, I am calling keyword validate. Actually, uh, I, I did a refactor here to replace uh, the keyword get for a keyword validate because I think it's less verbose. But you could do something like this. Uh, language names equals key word dot get and I'm gonna get the exactly I could do something like this keyword get I'm getting the OPTS uh, function parameter I'm trying to access the language names if I cannot find anything I'm gonna assign a default value of an empty array and I could do this for every single one of those fields here like this and then for the tools and then for the fundamentals names whoops okay i could do do it like this but i prefer just calling one function which is the keyword validate here so yeah it's a bit of a hard uh, data type in elixir and i don't think i have any equivalent in javascript land hopefully this video was enough to make you understand it but for now don't worry too much about it if you didn't fully understand what a keyword list is right now don't worry about it we're only going to use it in the future and yeah not all functions they have functional per, uh, optional parameters so yeah don't worry about it if you think you need to revisit the vi this video please revisit and then there's also a very good documentation for it on the official documentation for Elixir. This is where I got the string.split example, and I highly recommend you uh, to take a look into this documentation. So we can just type hexdocs.pm slash Elixir, and then on the sidebar, there is easily accessible keyword lists, and you click here. There you go. So that's it. Sorry if I wasn't super clear, but this concept is super hard in my opinion. So that's it. Hopefully uh, I helped you understand it and see you next time.